Hi everyone, this video is going to show you a new feature that's available now in Google Drive. It's backup and sync for Google Drive, but it's a little bit different than we're used to. And I'll explain. Next time you go to Google Drive, you're going to notice a new area called Computers. In the past, all was my drive shared with me and a few others. Team Drive showed up last year, and now we have Computers. What this is, is essentially does the exact same thing as we're used to with having the downloadable Google Drive, where there's a folder that's on your computer, and in that folder, it represents the exact same information that's in Google Drive. Wonderful. And that still exists, and that will still be part of this package. However, this new feature allows you to uh, have certain areas of your computer, like your desktop or your folder, and have the auto-syncing to this computer section, which means if I have a bunch of things on my desktop, which this represents that, that is now syncing to my Google Drive, so I should be, have access to it uh, auto-backing up to my Google Drive, which is fantastic because a lot of times we're constantly working and we have a tendency of forgetting where, what file is where, what, and why. So at this point, which is, which is really nice, is now those files now are backing up here, so they're auto-backed up to the cloud. You don't have to worry about losing any information, whether your device was stolen, your device broke, or loss of data because of a hardware issue. That has now been taken care of. Um, to talk a little bit about how this works, uh, if you do, when you go to computer, I already now already have it, but if you go to there on your Google Drive, there'll be a link, you can click on it, you could download it either for your Windows device or your Mac device, and away you go. Uh, your previous Google Drive that used to just be syncing your computer now, the icon will play so look like this. And it still does the same thing. I still have a folder that directly takes me to my Google Drive on my computer. If I put something in there, it automatically backs up to the cloud and vice versa. Um, I could tell it's a link that takes me directly to my Google Drive, which I'm in right now. And um, I'm not doing the Google Photos thing right now, but that is available. What you could also do is there's a preference where you can now back up your a few folders on your computer. So right now it understands I'm using a MacBook Air and I can select certain folders that are on my computer and that will automatically back up to here. And you could even differentiate if you really want to if there's photos, mm -hmm. what quality, what sizes are there, which is really cool. All right. Now, if I didn't want like my pictures to back up, I could uncheck, hit OK, and it'll just take care of that. One really neat feature I'd like to show you is uh, this area right here. Um, when you remove things, it, it also allows you to show a warning if I remove items from a folder, which will tell you, do you want, um, if, you, if I remove a file from my desktop and I put it in my, my trash can, it will notify you, do you want to remove it from the Google Drive and vice versa. If I remove it from my uh, the folder that's in the computer section of my Google Drive, it will warn you, do you want to remove it from your computer, which is really, really nice. So that's it. I mean, to be honest with you, it's kind of a no-brainer when it comes to backing up everything and saving everything to your Google Drive to access it. Um, another really neat tidbit, I can't show you off this screenshot or off this uh, this video here, but I want to let you know that if you have the Google Drive app on your phone, this computer section now is there, which means if I have something on my computer, I can now access it off my phone. Really fantastic things. I'm excited to uh, continue using it this year. Enjoy.